channel happy December if this is your first time joining me today welcome my name is Vanessa and I create YouTube videos on a variety of different things I create mainly about beauty favorites skincare favorites you name it anything that falls under the beauty lifestyle category and today I am especially excited because I get to share my Christmas holiday home decor please consider subscribing to my channel and give my video a thumbs up and that way I know that these are the type of videos this is the type of content that you want to see on my channel okay so to get started I have broken down my items in different categories so the first category we're gonna talk about our holiday home scents So the first items that fall under the scent category are these candles right here. These are from the brand called Prairie Creek Candles. The three scents that I have here are Spiced Eggnog, which have buttercream, nutmeg, cinnamon, and rum notes. The other one is Christmas Spice, which also has cinnamon, clove, orange, and vanilla. This one's called Mistletoe, and it's cranberry, peppermint, and white fur. To be honest, they all smell so incredibly delicious, but my favorite one for sure is the spiced eggnog. Oh, it's just, it's like Christmas in a jar, literally. Like it has all those like woody, warm, spicy notes that I'm very much a fan of. This company is owned by a woman that's based out of Regina, Saskatchewan, and it's a small owned business. So I love to support whenever I can. And one of the reasons that I wanted to share these candles with you today is because these are not the regular cotton wick candles. These are actually the wooden wick candles. I am someone that at the very end of the night before I go to bed, I need to wind down and in order for me to do so my surroundings have to be clear it has to be clean I also like to set the mood I like to turn on my fairy lights I like to light up some candles now I don't have a fireplace but what makes these candles so special is that crackling sound that the candles make when you light them up because they are wood wick you are able to get that very similar effect that you would if you were sitting in front of a fireplace. So now just imagine yourself winding down at the end of the night. Maybe you're reading a book or you're watching your favorite holiday movie and you have one of these candles just sitting in the background and you are listening to that crackling sound. Honestly, like that for me is my idea of winding down and relaxing before I go to sleep. Next, I have the Good Cheer Festive Diffuser Blend Collection from the brand Sage. I'm sure many of you have heard of Sage or have shopped at Sage before. They're the ones that are known for having the essential oils that you can pour into your diffusers. So this is their holiday collection and it comes with five different scents. It comes in Deep Forest, Sugar Plum, Peppermint Twist, Festive Friday, and All the Feels. My two favorite ones for sure are the All the Feels and Festive Friday. Sugar Plum Fairy has a really nice sweetness to it. And Deep Forest is actually quite a nice, refreshing, woodsy scent. But when I first smelled it, it it's kind of like, honestly, I, I didn't like it at first. I, it was kind of off-putting. And it wasn't until I was at the store walking around where I smelled one of the diffusers and I asked them what it was, like what scent it was, and they said it was deep forest. Just like the candles, these essential oils really do help set the mood for just a relaxing night. And what's nice about it too, that depending on the scent, if you need to study, if you wanna just relax, if you wanna just watch a movie, you can kinda customize the scent according to what room you want to have these in as well. Now this item right here is related to scent, but it also helps to create a really cozy, inviting mood. This is Sage's Starry Night Diffuser Lamp. I actually had this sitting in my background uh, on my last video for my Sephora haul. 
and I just loved how it looked. And it is a diffuser, it's a lamp, you can actually adjust the setting. So if you wanted to create a very soft light, you would just tap it once. If you wanna just make it brighter, then you can keep tapping it until you get it as bright as you wanna get it, and then just tap it again to turn it off. It comes with this little glass part. You can just fill it up with tap water a third of the way, and you're gonna add the essential oil that you choose. You can add 10 to 15 drops. It has this little wire frame. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if the camera's catching that. It has like a white wire frame where this is going to, it's gonna hold it in place. You're gonna carefully place it in, and once it's in, then you can actually be turn, you can just simply turn it on by tapping it, as I mentioned. It'll start to warm up the water and it's going to begin to release that very soft steam with that whatever essential oil that you chose. Be careful not to forget to turn it off because if you leave this in, obviously because it is warming, just like a regular diffuser, the water is going to evaporate at one point and you don't want to have that stay on and there's like no water in here. If you want to just use the light, you just simply don't put this in and just turn on the light that way. So honestly, it's versatile. If you wanna use it as a lamp, you can. If you wanna add the diffuser, then you just simply fill this up with the water, the drops. So the last two items in the scent category, I'm just gonna talk about them together. This one is the Mister Mister. <laughs> I'm Spanish, okay, so my Latina comes out in a lot of these videos when I'm talking. This is the Mr. Myers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner in the scent Peppermint. This is the Aroma Lou Refreshing Bathroom Spray from Sage, also in the peppermint scent. While I do love my warm, spicy scents, I also do love peppermint during winter, during Christmas season, because it reminds me of the peppermint candy canes. I don't know if it's an OCD thing or what, but I have to change my decor and I have to change my scents according to the season. So yes, I still like my cinnamon, cloves, all of that, but I also do like the peppermint for winter. It, and because it's so refreshing, it also, it, I don't know if this is gonna sound weird, you guys, but doesn't peppermint kind of give you like a cold feeling, but not in a bad way, like cold, like refreshing, and it reminds me of the snow? Anyone else? I might just be the crazy one that feels this or thinks this, but this is why I also like to incorporate the peppermint scent in, well, these ones especially, this one's gonna go in the bathroom because, you know. This is the one that I use mainly to clean the kitchen, to clean the table. The next category, it's going to be holiday home decor. So I bought two different sets of pillowcases on Amazon. So this one is a black, white, and gray checkered pattern pillowcase. And this other one is more of this like creamy beige geometric pattern. When I was thinking of what colors to decorate for this year, I didn't want to go with the typical just red, green, or you know, typical colors that we always use. I might next year, it's just this year, I wanted to keep things a little bit more on the neutral side, which is why I got this beige, very cozy actually pillowcase. And it's all flat at the back, but it's really soft, very comfortable. And even this geometric shape, I thought it was pretty cool. And the outline of it, it's like, it almost reminds me of like a boho type of vibe. The reason I got the checkered one is because I also like to have a little bit of a farmhouse feel, like a Christmas farmhouse type of decor in my home. This next item is this beautiful emerald green throw blanket. I was gonna say rug for a second. I was like, wait, it's not a rug. <laughs> it's a blanket. I wanted to get the bigger size in this one and unfortunately they were sold out. So I got the smaller one, but I still think it's pretty good. It's perfect for like one to two people to share. It's lightweight. However, it's still quite cozy and warm. It also brings that geometric shape uh, similar to the beige cream pillowcase that I bought. I also really love the tassels that hang at the end of it. The main reason for me getting this blanket, it wasn't because I wanted or needed another blanket. I just wanted something that was going to be an accent piece for my couch. And this color is just absolutely gorgeous. And it complements the tree, not only because it's green, but also because my decor this year, the colors that I chose, 
are that very same emerald green with blue and some gold touches as well. My next home decor piece, it's this round wooden plank. I bought it at our Marshalls and I use this to keep right in the center of my coffee table. This is where I add my candle, some other Christmas decor. I love this wood because it reminds me so much of Christmas in a farmhouse home. Our home should be our sanctuary. It's the place where you come to relax and wind down after such a busy day. It's where you come to be present with your family. You try and just maybe have some time to yourself as well. When I come home, I kind of just want to get away from that hustle and bustle of the everyday city life. So just by adding this small little wooden piece of home decor, it just really creates that beautiful, warm, cozy ambiance that I very much always looking for. Next three pieces here I bought over at HomeSense. So I have a wooden Christmas tree, a wooden reindeer, and I have this other Christmas tree right here that actually lights up as well. These three pieces right here I keep over by the corner where my basket full of blankets are, where the TV is. I am just adding a very small touch of that Christmas decor throughout the house and little areas and spaces where you might not think that would make a difference, but it actually does. The next two holiday home decors I'm actually going to show you off camera. The first one is my eucalyptus wreath. I found this one over on Amazon. I was looking for a wreath. Mainly I wanted to hang it over at the front entrance of my house, but I actually ended up deciding to hang it right in that center area where I wash the dishes, where I'm looking out the window. I really wanted to balance out the Christmas decor in my kitchen and this wreath is, in my opinion, it's just absolutely perfect. It's that beautiful green, it's refreshing. It doesn't have so many things that I think are distracting or take away from it. I didn't want something to be so flashy, so this one, it's simple but yet so beautiful. And the next Christmas decor piece I bought at HomeSense, and it's that Christmas garland. I've been wanting to get a Christmas garland for the longest time. I found this one and I really wanted to frame the window just like the eucalyptus wreath. I thought that that garland will look so great with that huge open window that we have. The pine leaves even match my Christmas tree that already comes with that white fake fluffy snow. And surprise, surprise, it also brings lights that you can turn on. If you're looking to warm up the space, then adding these kind of fairy lights, soft lights, it's also going to create the perfect atmosphere and it's going to just make everything feel more warm, cozy, and inviting. Take a shot for every time I say cozy. You'll be drunk by the end of this video. <laughs> the next two pieces I purchased separately, but they go hand in hand and it's my Christmas wall art decor. The wooden frames I purchased over from Amazon, it was a pack of six, they come eight by 10. I actually got an extra one. I'm not sure if it was by accident or on purpose. So it's seven frames that I received. The wooden frames remind me so much of my dining table, which has that same type of wooden finish and that wooden color. And the Christmas wall art itself I purchased from Etsy. I believe it's a shop called Kalani Art Prints. I'm gonna leave all the information down below, of course. They're actually these digital files that you can purchase. Uh, they have them in sets of two, they have them in sets of six. I went with the sets of six, of course, and just reprinted one extra one so that I could add it to the seventh frame that I received. I know the black and white might seem very simple, very minimal, but once you add those wooden frames, it instantly just warms up the space and it kind of brings the frames to life. And the last Christmas home decor items I have, I purchased from the dollar store. Not everything has to be from Amazon or Etsy or Marshalls. I know that those stores can get very expensive and sometimes it's hard to justify spending something so like such a crazy amount of money for something that you're just gonna probably use for a month, a month and a half at least. And believe me, I have no problem looking and shopping over at the dollar store. You can actually find some great items. For example, I have this little guy right here. Isn't it so cute? So this is actually a like jar that comes with the fake little like flakes, the snow, and then it has like the, the twigs and the branches intertwined inside. And you can actually see the pine nuts. What are they called? Pine nuts or no, that's something else. <laughs> 
pine cones that's what i'm trying to say it brings the pine cones but they're also shaped in like a rose it's actually quite pretty it gives me like beauty and the beast type of vibes and you can hang this anywhere you want or you can put it i put it as a little accent piece over by my entryway i also found these two candle holders if you look closely it actually has that frosted crack type of glass effect and if you watch my fall decor video you remember that i bought these all these like fake candles as well from the dollar store you can add a small tea light in one of these or if you wanted to add one of the ones that the dollar store sells you can add those as well and bam you have yourself a beautiful christmas home decor piece the last Christmas decor item I bought at the dollar store is actually a really random one. I would, I don't think I would have bought this if it wasn't for one specific thing that I saw. That's this wooden sign right here. It says joy. Normally I don't buy a lot of these because I feel like I don't want the decor to become a little too tacky when you have these words like joy and I don't know, whatever other words that you see for christmas decorating the only reason i bought this it's because of the pattern inside of the letters they are the exact pattern of my checkered black white and gray pillowcases sometimes when i decorate it might seem like i'm throwing these random like colors or things that don't like don't make sense that you're like why why are you adding that one green thing in the corner why are you adding the one checkered thing over here i'm someone that very much likes to tie everything in so by having the green accent throw blanket on the couch by having the small little christmas bulbs hanging from the tree and by having the checkered sign at the front of the entryway with my pillowcase it really does connect everything together kind of ties all the decor together and by you doing that it actually makes the home feel more cohesive all right guys so sadly i have come to the end of this video i ran out of items to share with you unfortunately thank you so much for watching i was so excited to share all of these christmas home decor items with you if you are like me you love home decor you like things to do with style makeup skincare please please consider subscribing to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also let me know in the comments down below which category was your favorite from today's video i think mine for sure i would say it was the sense category 100 percent. thank you again for watching and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye